I was recently working on a group project and one of my mates was experiencing something weird with the grid lines. They were all moving around without him actually moving them. What would happen is that he would move the extents of the grid lines on one of his elevations and then he'd go back to one of his other elevations and find that it's moved on that view as well. Now he got quite frustrated and in the end I'm pretty sure he ended up printing it, changing it and then printing the other elevation. So that's not the best way to do this. As you can see there is a 3D button here and this isn't usually that obvious because of how small it actually is. What this 3D button is saying is that when you move these grid lines it's going to move them on all of the other views as well. If instead we just click on that 3D icon, you can see that it's now no longer locked to those other views. The extents are now 2D and not 3D. Now what I can do is move just this grid line and you can see it's not gonna move any of the other ones as well. So we'd have to do this for each grid line and click 3D, click on the next grid line, hit 3D and change it to 2D. And now we can move all of them and you can see that they'll then lock onto each other, which is what we want. And if we go back to the roof plan, these are all still untouched. 